Hey guys, it's Yami, and we all know that households have their very own rules. Like in my house, you're not allowed to wear your shoes upstairs. It's a big no-no. Well, in some households, if you don't follow their rules, it ends terribly. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Gacha household rules. If you're excited for the video, make sure to leave a like, and without further ado, let's check out the first rule. That doll is horrifying. I mean, just look at it. It's so creepy. Don't let it wander away from you. What? Remember to look around for anything blue or white. Trash them now. If they're big, get them in the bathroom. You have to remember to knock on the bathroom door before you open it. Then, only then, turn on the light. Don't open the door what? right away. If you spot a dark shape, kill the light, wrap the doll, and run back to mom and dad's room. I'm scared. Why are all of these rules absolutely terrifying? Like, if you don't follow them, you will die. I don't want to go to this house. Like, ever. Hurry. Close that bedroom door, too. After that, peek under the door to see if the lights in the living room are flickering. What? Why would they if be they flickering? Are, stay put. If not, check the bathroom again. Remember, don't open the door right away. If the shadow disappears, bring in the blue and white things ASAP. Remember, only turn off the light in the bathroom. Keep all the other room lights on. Food's in the fridge. Warm it up before eating. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't eat it all up. If you're tired at night, <sighs> go to our room. In there, you'll see a white closet. Okay. It's safe, don't worry. Before you go to bed, check on the closet. Carefully peek through the gap. If you see blue eyes watching from inside, shine your flashlight till they vanish. I would rather not check the closet. I don't wanna know what's in there. Keep it away from me. One last thing before okay, bed. Okay, one last thing. Hang a bag on the outside doorknob. Why? Lock the door and then you go rest. Okay. Next morning, you'll find the second note inside the bedside drawer. Don't read it early. Your dad and I trust that you can make it. Make it to the second day, my love. What the heck? Also, why are we hanging a bag on the outside of the door? That was never explained. Those were some weird household rules. But now we're gonna watch some even weirder rules. Hello kids, today we're talking about our household rules. Rule number 3576, the tree. What is the tree? This tree right here always changes its color every season. Why is there a tree inside of the house? That's what I wanna know. If you walk past it, you have to slow down and keep a straight face. They are watching. Who's watching? Rule number 985, the empty bed. When you wake up in the middle of the night and see two teddy bears in an empty bed, go back to sleep right away. They aren't toys. Well, what are they then? That's creepy. Are these toys haunted? Is there a ghost in them? What the heck? Who's that? She's terrifying. Mother will be looking to see if you're asleep or not. Rule number 2369. How many rules are in this house? Well, seems like a lot. So many rules. When you're washing your hands and the water turns red, hurry and cover your eyes. Ew, red water, that's gross. But why? You do not want to be lying on the floor with blood. What does that mean? What, is the water actually blood? If so, that's not good. You're dismissed. Remember the rules, kid. Yeah, just remember all 2,000 of them because that's gonna be easy. All right, well, we have some more rules from that household. Let's see what they are. But before that, we have a new member. Oh, somebody's coming to join us. Join us in following all of these ridiculous rules. Come on in, Chelsea. Chelsea is going to be staying with us from now. Welcome, Chelsea. I hope you like rules, because we've got a lot of them. Rule number 47. When you walk in a room and see a dog, run out of the room. But why? The puppy is adorable. Aww. It's a trap from the spirit. Oh, oh, wait a second. She wasn't really a dog. She was in fact a spirit and an evil spirit at that. Rule number 896, the garden statue. What can be so creepy about a statue? If you're picking flowers in the garden, you have to bow down as a sign of thank you. Okay, we gotta thank the statue. That's low-key kind of cute though. I didn't mind that rule. I thought that was adorable. I just can't believe how many household rules people have. In my house, they're really simple and don't involve spirits. What about in this next household? How crazy are their rules? 
Rule number one, okay. your childhood room will always be the safest place in this home. Rule number two, what was that thing? It was like a spirit. Rule number two, when leaving any room on the second floor, make sure to close the door behind you. You must do this without exception. I don't like this house. Rule number three, do not touch the stairwell painting. The paint never seems to fully dry. Rule number four. Wait, what happened to her face? She touched a painting? Or should I say she touched a flower? And something appeared on her face. Like, is she now poisoned? What is going on? Rule number four. Okay. At times, a strange suitcase will appear at random points in the house. Oh my gosh. Do not touch the contents inside. It is always a trap. Everything's haunted by this five, creepy spirit. Use the downstairs corner bathroom before 7 p.m. After then, the mirror will try to deceive you. Rule number six, count every door in this home at the beginning and end of each day. Oh my gosh. If you come across a door you do not remember counting. Surely if you live in that house, you'll know how many doors there are and how many rooms there are. You shouldn't have to count them to see if one has just appeared. That's kind of creepy. Why are these houses so haunted, especially with spirit? Oh, I'm scared. Household Rules Part 2. Rule number 7. Take your prescribed medication every morning. A happy day starts with a healthy mind. Rule number 8. Clean up after yourself. We have an ant problem. What? Rule number 9. When taking the spiral steps to the third floor storage room, do not look up. Why? What happens if you look up? Is there something on the ceiling? <laughs> look up. Rule number 10. The phone in the downstairs lounge will only ever ring between 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. Do not answer it. It is not for you. So the phone only rings between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m.? That's terrifying. Like, nobody should be calling you at that time. I wouldn't answer it. So I'm kind of glad that's a rule. Do not answer it. It is not for you. Number 11. Shut the piano before bedtime. Oh my gosh. Number 12, when tasked with polishing mother's antiques, avoid looking at them directly. How can you polish all of mother's belongings if you can't even look at them? Like, surely you're gonna do a bad job at that. That's a silly rule. Directly. And lastly, see this mirror in the downstairs lounge? Yeah. Say you're alone and standing in front of it. In the reflection, how many people would you see? Just Remember, one. If you are by yourself, the answer should always be one. Why? If you look in the mirror, is there gonna be more people? That would be so creepy. Rule number 14, although these flowers are plastic, please water them daily. Why? No Why water plastic flowers? Like, that's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna cause a puddle. Please water them daily. Rule number 15, avoid using the jacuzzi room. The heating system will malfunction. It cannot be fixed. Oh. Number 16, make sure to knock three times before entering the pool house. The guests in there don't really seem to leave. Num guests? Who else is staying in this house? Oh my goodness. I don't think I wanna know. <laughs> Creepy. The guests in there don't really seem to leave. Number 17, never stand directly under the chandelier. So Why? do not turn it on between the hours of 1 to 4 a.m. The light will disturb the guests. And if you turn the light on, is it gonna kill you? They said don't stand directly under it. Why? What happens if you do? Is it gonna fall on you and crush you? Then I wouldn't wanna go anywhere near it, to be honest. 18, in your old room, there is a storage compartment under the bed. Remember, do not use it to store anything that you would not be willing to part with. What? 19. Why? Where are all of your items gonna go? They just disappear? Or does someone steal them? 19. Before bedtime, place your slippers in an asymmetrical way like so. Grandmother says this will help you run faster in your dreams. Oh my goodness. 20. Checking under the bed will not help you. Those rules were terrifying. Let's check out some more. Household rules part four. 21. Do not turn on the fan in grandmother's room. 22. You may observe this painting only from an angle. Do not stand parallel to the Ooh. canvas. 23. This is the shoe closet and this is the wine cellar. Be wary of your step. These doors have a tendency to switch. Okay, so the rooms just swap about. Because that's totally normal to happen in a house. Maybe not. In 24, only go down to the wine cellar past dark. It is one of the few places in this house that grow calmer at night. Weird. 25, while your room is the <gasps> safest place in this house, there is no guarantee you will be safe from yourself. Creepy. 26, leave your room for at least three hours a day. Sunlight is good for you. 27, on sunny days like this, politeness is a plus. If you see them waving at you, you must wave back. 
and 28. If you crawl inside the stairwell storage compartment oh and turn gosh. right, you will stumble across a tiny secret room in which the walls are covered with crayon drawings. Do not attempt to erase or clean those marks. They worked very hard on them. They? Who are they? If I'm going to be living in this house, I want to know every single person or spirit I'm going to be living with. And if they like to crayon on the wall, good for them. They're artists and we appreciate that. We love creativity, but what we don't love? Spirits. Evil spirits. Household rules, part five. So many rules. Okay. 30. On occasions, mother will tell you to prepare a mattress on the third floor. This only occurs when there are too many guests already in the main house. Okay. 31. Weird. At times, you may think you hear voices coming out of these vents, but remember, nothing they say is trustworthy. There are people, or should I say spirits and ghosts, living in the vents of the house. As if that couldn't get any worse. Just look at them. Ew, they're whispering in the vent. 32. Set constant alarms for yourself throughout the day. These ringtones will help you distinguish real life from your dreams. Weird. If you ever hear knocking at your bedroom door, especially past dark, do not open it. Your mother would just call out to you. She does not knock. Before stop. Okay, one thing that is super scary is knocking at nighttime. That is one way to make me have a heart attack. <laughs> Loud knocking at nighttime is just the worst. It could be anyone. A killer. A murderer. A killer. <laughs> There's only going to be one person knocking at the door at that time. A killer or my takeaway driver. <laughs> Does not knock. 34. Stop trying to convince your parents that there is something wrong with the house. Talking about it will just make them angrier. There is definitely something wrong with that house though. Like we should be allowed to speak about that with our parents. 35. If you wake up in the middle of the night to the sound of running water, it is not a dream. It means that they found their way inside your room. Keep your eyes closed and- That has to be the scariest rule so far. I don't like the idea of being asleep and waking up to that. Rules part six. Rule number 36. Understand that at times, you are the unreliable narrator. Rule okay. number 37. Dead bees appear throughout this house. I know this bee is meant to be dead, but look at him. He looks so happy. Oh. Disposing of them, do so respectfully. Rule number 38. When walking up the stairs alone, if you think you hear more than one pair of footsteps, run. What? Rule number 39. Before driving out of the garage, make sure to check your back seat. The last thing you would want is to carry an extra uninvited passenger outdoors. That is so true. And also a terrifying thought. Like if you get in your car to drive it, you could turn around and someone could be behind you. Rule number 40. It is constantly either too hot or freezing. Tweaking with the thermometer doesn't help. And lastly, if this house in a- How is that a rule? Surely that's just a fault with the house. Like the house is either really hot or really cold. No in between. And lastly, if this house inexplicably gives you a sense of deja vu, uh, or you think you may have seen it before, it could be because you have. What? <laughs> My mind just exploded. If you think you've seen it before, it's because you have? I mean, okay, weird rule, I guess. Household rules part seven. Rule number 41, avoid any spots in this house that appear to fall on a spatial alignment. 42, at times, you may think you see miscellaneous clusters resemblant of mannequin parts. While they usually remain downstairs, it is important that you do not acknowledge their existence. 43. Make a mental note of where important objects are placed, such as your shoes or keys. 44. The measurements of this location's inside dimensions are impossible. This is also one of the few doors in this entire house that will at times disappear. What? Anything or anyone stuck inside during a vanishing will not come back the same. 45. When a cluster begins appearing upstairs, it is a sign that it has become hostile. In chance event, evacuate to an enclosed space with no more than one entry point. 46. Cut down on the number of iced coffees you drink in a day. No! Not the iced coffees! Oh no! This is a terrible rule! Caffeine inhibits proper sleep. 47. Although the pool is rarely used, it must be maintained and cleaned weekly. I'm sorry, but why does this pool look like the literal ocean? Seaweed, sand, the lot. That is definitely no pool. And why is she sweeping underwater? I mean, that's gotta be a talent in itself. Slay Queen. 
48. If you have forgotten to shut the piano before bedtime, do not panic. However, it is pertinent that you let it remain closed for at least 24 hours before using again. I thought we heard the rule already where you have to close the piano before bed. So why is it now a different rule that you can leave it open? These two rules contradict themselves. Somebody needs to rewrite this rule book. 49. There are going to be times in which you bizarrely wake up in rooms that you do not recall entering in the first place. What? Simply go back to sleep. You can expect to wake up normally back in your childhood room the second time around. Surely that's called amnesia, falling asleep in a room, not remembering that you were in there, and then ending back up in a different room. Like, that might be a medical issue, not so much a haunted house issue. But yeah, it could also be the haunted house. I mean, there's so many other things going on inside of this household that, yeah, it's, it's probably spirits. <laughs> but if that was to happen in your house, then yeah, you should probably go to the doctor. Number 50, if and when you hear the sounds of birds <gasps> chirping, during abnormally early hours in the morning, stay a safe distance away from windows or doors. Do not look outside. I'm scared. You can't even look at the birds outside because they're probably a spirit in this house. Household rules. Nine. Long time no see. Since the end of summer, your childhood room is no longer the safest place in this home. Also, when going down the spiral staircase of the third floor, always make sure to skip the seventh step. You might not hear the sound that it makes, but she most likely will. Also, oh it's probably a good idea to leave out some food for the guests living within the storage compartment. However, do not talk to them directly or even wave at them. They tend to make strange uh, dietary demands. First of all, I don't want to feed them. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to be anywhere near them. So the fact that I have to feed them McDonald's fries, it's just not going to sit well with me. I don't know if I can follow these rules, honestly. I don't want to feed a spirit french fries. It's not for me. Lastly, in regards to the doodles you put up on your new bedroom wall, remember that no matter how nice they seem, do not give them their names. What? Those drawings were adorable, but you're not allowed to name them? Why? Do they come to life and try to kill you? I mean, probably. Those were some creepy, creepy rules. I really didn't like that household. <laughs> I don't want to go to that house if there's that many rules to follow. And I especially don't want to go there if it's haunted. And now, time for a mini movie all about household rules. Silek, are you done yet? Coming! Did you bring your homework this time? Don't worry, Mom, I'm all prepared. All right, then let's go. The day it all started. The day I lost my mother. Oh my gosh. What happened here? That poor girl, she lost her mother. Did you find anything? I'm sorry, sir, but all adoption centers are full. Do you think we should send her to that adoption center? I guess we have no choice. That adoption center? And why are they so scared? Maybe because this girl is gonna have to move into a house with a lot of rules. It's lovely to see you again, Coplin. It's nice to see you too, Lady Rosetta. This is gonna be your temporary home, Lilac. Come along now, dear. I hope to see you again, Lilac. How about we all get inside? Hello there, you must be the newcomer. I'm Camilla and I'm the one who's gonna show you to our room. Oh, okay, I'm Lilac. Let's go. Cute kids, cute orphanage. I'm liking it so far. Wait a second, what's that? Oh, it's creepy. Your uniform is in the closet. I'm gonna go now and remember, mother has an announcement later. Oh, and please change to your uniform faster. Mother doesn't like other colors to be worn. See you later, sister Lilac. A bit later. Hello everyone. Since we have a newcomer, I'll explain the household rules again. Oh my gosh, here we go. We get the rules. Are they gonna be weird? Are they gonna be spooky and strange? Or are they gonna be normal? Let's see, shall we? Rule number one, never open the first door on the second floor. There's always someone waiting for you there. What? Rule number two, never answer someone whispering at you. Wanna play? Oh my gosh, why? What are they gonna do? Do they not actually wanna play? Do they wanna kill? <laughs> Rule number three, don't touch the painting of Mama in the hallway. Oh, she blinks. Rule number four, never help someone who looks exactly like you. It's always a trap. And for the last and the most important rule, don't ever escape this house. That is all. Not gonna lie, I've already forgotten most of them, but I know not to touch a painting and to never try to escape. 
Sounds terrible. This poor girl has been through it. What's wrong with this house? And what the heck are those rules? Yeah, they were some weird rules. Oh, it's the painting. What is she doing? Is she gonna touch it? Girl, that was one of the rules. What on earth are you doing? I just... I know that you're new, but try not to break any rules. Ooh, they were strict. What the heck? Did I try to touch it? Girl, yes you did. Okay, it looks like it's the next day now. Good morning, my dear children. Eat up now so you won't get sick. Have a nice breakfast, everyone. Why does the orphanage lady look so cute though? Like surely she's not evil, right? Okay, so we're out in the garden. Maybe I should have stayed with Camilla. Let's go talk to her. Yeah, okay, then let's go. Oh, they're gonna go speak to the new girl. Are they gonna try to be friends with her? Hi, my name is Lucas. Hello there, I'm Rosa. And I'm Liam. Liam doesn't have eyes. He only has hair. How can he see? Nice to meet you, I'm Lilac. It's nice to meet you too. Everyone, it's time to get in. Hey Rosa, what you reading? Some old fairy tales. What's wrong? Just please don't break any rules. None of these kids trust her, do they? That was strange. Okay, you girls are asleep. Hey. Wait, who's trying to talk to her? Wanna play? Oh no. I swear that was one of the rules, right? Not to answer a voice that's asking you if you wanna play. What's she gonna do? Is she gonna respond? I don't think she did. Good. Sister Lilac, are you okay? Sorry about that. What's wrong? It's just that someone was whispering to me last night. Did you answer it? No, I didn't. Good. What happens when I answer it? Let's not talk about it here. It's not safe. Wait, what? Let's talk about it tonight. Okay, now we're with the orphanage lady. She looks so cute. Why did you call me mother? Be a good girl and please clean the second floor. The second floor? Yes, dear. You don't have to clean the first room. Just remember not to go inside. Okay. Doesn't seem too difficult, right? She's just got to clean. Camilla told me never to go there. Oh gosh, this looks really creepy. So she's cleaning the hallway. This looks okay. Like, yeah, it's dark, it's spooky, but seems fine so far. She's getting on with her job. Lilac? Who's speaking to her? Mom? No, mom is gone. Lilac, come in here so I can see you. Oh my gosh, there is a voice talking to her from inside of the room. That is so creepy. Don't cry, my dear. Come in here. Oh my goodness. The thing that makes this traumatic is that it's the voice of her dead mother. And the orphanage woman is smiling. She knows what she did. She set this up. I think she's actually evil though. I thought she was nice. What did you do to her? It's the way of telling her what kind of world she's living in from now on. This woman is sick and twisted. Oh my gosh. Poor girl, she's crying. She's heard the voice of her dead mother. And look, it's the creepy painting. Sister Lilac, you haven't eaten anything today. Are you just gonna give up? I want to see the world again with you. Then I'll accompany you to see the world again. That's a promise. Liar. Wait, who is this? Why is she calling her a liar? Where have you been, Aki? Wait, I did, was there a spirit that just ran up past in the background? Oh my gosh, it's mother. Where have you been, Aka? I just went to the bathroom, mother. No, she didn't, she's lying. <laughs> she was listening in on a conversation not intended for her. All right then, go to bed now, it's late. Ooh, look at this food, it looks so yummy. Have a good meal, my children. Yes, at this orphanage you get to eat steak. That looks amazing. Please eat your meal this time, Sister Lilac. I was so worried about you. You suddenly stopped talking and eating for two days. I apologize for making all of you worried. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's probably because your girl has to follow all of these spooky household rules. What's important is that you're all right now. Everyone, let's escape. But wait, that breaks the final rule. Never try to escape. Rosa, there's thousands and millions of fairy tales outside. Outside is real freedom. But that's the most strict rule of mother. Let's just wait until we get adopted. Do you actually believe that someone will adopt us? Everyone is scared of this place. No one would step a foot inside. Yeah, probably because they don't want to have to follow a million rules. And also it's haunted. Then let's escape. We can all be part of a family. All of us can no longer 
longer be scared of rules and we can have infinite ice cream and now that sounds like the life everybody's happy they all want unlimited ice cream i thought everything was going to be all right why did it come to this come to what why did you call me here mother you've been a lovely daughter rosetta it's thanks to you mother but why did you call me here so urgent i've decided to make you the next lady it's almost time again. Camilla, I've been here for months already. Isn't it about time that you tell me the truth? Honestly, I don't know anything at all. I came here a year before you did and almost all of the others came here not so long ago. Brother James is the only one who's been here for the longest. It's best if you ask him. I'll try my best. I want to know why there's so many rules. I miss you so much, Haley. Was that Brother James? Aw, he's holding a photo. Is that his sister? Wait, what if that's another girl that lived in this house? Brother James? Oh, he's so sad. What do you want? Why were you crying? It's none of your business. You're right, it's not my concern. But I won't go if you're not gonna answer me. You really wanna know? The only person I've ever trusted in this world died. What? Oh, I thought maybe she like got adopted or something, but no, she died. You don't have to hold back your tears. Poor guy, he's grieving. I'm not helping you escape. Why? Why wouldn't you want to help us? It's far too dangerous outside. And you think staying here with some creepy rules is safe? You don't understand the danger if you try to escape this place. You're a coward. With your help or not, I'm gonna get everyone out of here. And that includes you. Oh, she is sick of these rules. Haley, don't leave me, you idiot. Do we really need to do this? We gotta help Lilac at some point. Let's get looking at stuff. What has he found? Liam, look at this. What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh, what is it? I need to know. Oh, it's the details. Liam Brown, 13 years old, adopted on the 17th of the 5th. Adopted by Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Home address, Gatchatown, Louise Angeles. Straight house, 189. What a weird address. But wait a second, why does it say adopted on the bottom of his papers? <gasps> She's been lying to us after all. We need to tell the others about this. What are you two doing in here? We were playing with a ball and it bounced in here. Oh, right. Then we'll inform you if we find it. Why is there also like a creepy little guy here in the background? What is he doing? Who is he? Is he meant to be there? Sweet. Well, we were just gonna go now. Oh, he's passed her a note. What does it say? Let's gather tonight. I have something to show. It's too dangerous for me to show it now. Mother might spot us. Oh, he's going to expose the certificate of adoption later that night. Now that everyone's here, Liam, what did you want to show me? Oh, he's got the paper. It's Liam's adoption papers and it says he's already been adopted. So that's how and why this adoption center hasn't been shut down. She's faking us getting adopted. Is this so the mother can have the kids stay in the house following the rules and doing all of the chores? Cause that's sneaky and wrong. We're gonna escape in five days. They're sick of these rules. What, that's insane. There's still too much we need to do. I've already planned everything. How are we gonna unlock the door without making any noise? Liam is great at getting things. He's gonna get the key for us. How about that big wall outside? I've already measured it and we can easily climb up with a rope. Ooh, clever idea. I'm sure of it, we're gonna get out of here. What about brother James, Aiko and Aker? Of course, they're coming with us. We just need to figure out how. I know for a fact we can pursue brother James and the twins. Everyone, let's escape. They are leaving this place. Oh my gosh, do they actually get out? They were so sick of those rules that they wanted to leave. And I don't blame them. I think I would too. Anyway, guys, that is where this video has ended. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see another one from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.